mine is way less impressive, but it is good. It very mildly tastes like peanuts. Taste that. The peanuts? Yeah. Can you taste anything? <laughs> fire. Ah, good. It's delicious fire. Hey there, I'm Ryan Koff, and I'm the president of AnimeCon.org. I'm in Japan with Erica Wise, our vice president, and some other convention staff, exploring Japan for 30 days. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you'll get updates as we eat delicious food, see really cool sights, and just have a blast in Tokyo. We'll be your Tokyo guides, so follow along with us. We got up for our trip leaving the Hyatt Regency O'Hare Airport. The Hyatt's Regency Club, which is accessible for free for anyone staying at Hyatt's more than 30 nights a year and becoming a global elite member, provided our breakfast. To get in the mood for Japan, smoked salmon. Delicious. The airport in Chicago is like any other airport. Show up early, just in case, and avoid the headache of waiting in line. One time we were in Japan, some people we met said that they thought all Americans high-fived all the time. So we decided to practice and get in the mood. Oh look, a jellyfish. After some goofing off, we stopped by the Admirals Club, another perk of frequent travel for some free drinks and some refreshing orange juice. The Admiral's Club had unlimited drinks as long as you were willing to drink their house alcohol, which is always fine. I don't need expensive Captain Morgan when there's some cheap Sailor Jerry's. They also had plenty of juices, water, cereal, anything you needed to start your day. Getting into the Admiral's Club really made waiting at the airport just a lot more palatable. We got on the plane and we were about to head to Japan. Space glasses. Yeah. They should 
and they're starting to do in-flight announcements, so we'll uh, slow as we land and we'll talk more about immigration, where you have to have your passport and be clear to get into the country. And so we were off on our flight to Japan from Chicago's O'Hare Airport to Tokyo Narita Airport. It was going to be a long flight. A really long flight. We would be in the air for almost 13 hours. That is a really really long flight. If you don't sleep on the plane, you'll just have a terrible time. But they did feed us throughout the trip. Here's one of our meals. All of our meals, because we were flying on a Japan Airlines code share flight, were Japanese themed. This one had soba noodles, rice, and was pretty good. Nowhere near as good as the food's gonna be in Tokyo, but still, airplane food. What is up with that, right? <laughs> hey, look, it's Dragon Quest. We're probably gonna see some Dragon Quest stuff in Japan. This one is more of an American style lunch. I've got apple juice and a hot dog and all kinds of toppings for the hot dog. I mean, we clearly did just come from Chicago. And finally, we landed at Narita Airport. And it was raining. Actually, that's been pretty common. But when you get to Narita Airport, you don't have to go outside at all. So it doesn't matter if it's raining because the trains in Japan are amazing. Welcome to Narita Airport. And we had some walking to do and more walking, and more walking. The airport's so big, they have to have escalators just for moving forward, and for moving down, and for finally getting to your luggage. So we waited for our luggage, and just kind of waited for our luggage. Vending machines in Japan are great, and they are all over the place. They're so accessible, and you can always find something delicious to drink. Erica's choosing a strawberry drink. No, wait, maybe it's peach. So, now we've converted our cash, we've hydrated, and we're Okane Mochi. That's rich. Uh, I wouldn't wave cash around like this anywhere but Japan, but Japan's pretty safe. The airport is one of the first places you can get a real taste of Japan with Kit Kat flavors. There are so many flavors of Kit Kats in Japan that you can't find anywhere else. And that's just really disappointing that you can't get them in America. It's something you will definitely miss if you try all the crazy flavors in Japan. The train station was actually located in the basement of the airport. And getting there was pretty easy as long as you followed the signs. We had to give them our JR passes to get through because this would be an expensive trip coming in from the airport and going through the rest of Japan. Tokyo Narita Airport is actually an hour and a half away from Tokyo itself, but the train to get there is pretty darn convenient and not very far away nor hard to get to. So simply get to the train station and uh, wait some more. If you need help, one of the friendly station staff will surely be able to help you. Some of them know perfect English, 
and then some of them don't at all, but they'll happily find another station staff member who does. This is the Narita Express train. It's a Shinkansen type bullet train because it goes way over 90 miles an hour. And so we enjoyed a scenic train ride through the Japanese countryside on our way into Tokyo. You start to see that Japan is a real country and not just an anime land. In fact, we haven't seen anything anime yet, except I think there was a small display at the airport. So if you're going through Japan and expecting it to be just like an anime, well, it depends which anime you're watching. This train ride was long. Again, 90 minutes from the airport into the center of Tokyo. We were actually going to Shinjuku, which is on the west side of Tokyo, so about 15 minutes further than if we were going somewhere on the east side of Tokyo. We transferred to trains and started walking around town. So that's the end of our first day in Japan, and we're finally getting some much needed rest and sleeping off some of that jet lag. Like this video and subscribe to our channel to get our updates as we eat spicy ramen, delicious Japanese curry, see some cool museums, visit cultural events and sites, and so much more as AnimeCon.org does 30 days in Japan. This year, we'll be using our JR passes to visit Osaka, Kyoto, Nara, and of course, we'll be spending a lot of time in Tokyo too. Follow us as AnimeCon.org spends 30 days in Japan. And guess where we're going tomorrow? Look what's behind us. Oh. Spicy ramen place. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be delicious. Oh.